I got an Amazon internship as a software engineer. And in this video, I'm gonna explain exactly what goes into applying to Amazon, how the interview process works, how I managed to get in, and most importantly, how you can get an internship as well. Let's get right into it. So first of all, let me tell you a little bit about my background. My name is Euro. I'm a 20 year old computer science student from the Netherlands and I'm currently in the third year of my bachelor. I'm a massive tech enthusiast and I got into programming when I was around 12 years old. So computer science is really my big passion and it has been for most of my life. Now that I'm in the third year of my bachelor, I have two 10 week long minor periods, which I'm allowed to fill in myself. So earlier this year while making preparations, I decided that I wanted to spend my first minor period pursuing my first software engineering internship. After making this choice, I was left with two options. Either I could take up an internship from a partner company of my university which were mostly smaller companies that weren't too interesting to me or I could try to find an internship myself. Now this would be a way more risky option because I had no guarantees at all but it would open up the possibility of working for a larger company. In the end I decided that it was worth taking the risk of trying to find a company on my own because if I would find a good company I would have a way better experience. So now that I'd made a decision it was time to start applying and let me tell you I applied everywhere. I used sites like LinkedIn, Indeed and Glassdoor to browse job offers and apply directly through their application systems. And I also applied directly on a couple of sites of larger companies like Apple, Uber, Twitter, and Amazon. A couple of weeks went by and I quickly realized that it was pretty hard to get any response at all from these larger companies. It would have been way easier to make use of the referral network from my university. But as I said, there were not really any interesting companies in my case. If your college does have a good referral network though, make sure to make use of it because it makes this whole process a lot easier. Easier. Anyways, I had to rely on my own applications and resume. After doing some research, I quickly found out why it was so hard for me to get through this first crucial stage. It was because of something called an ATS or an applicant tracking system. Hundreds, sometimes even thousands of people are applying to these larger job applications and it would be impossible for humans to look over all the applications and resumes. For this reason, most companies use an ATS these days, which is basically a smart automated computer system which looks over all the applications and filters out the candidates with the most potential. After finding out about this, I realized that I needed to optimize my resume in order to maximize my chances of getting that first crucial response. So I redid my entire resume and my whole LinkedIn page with a couple of important points in mind. This ended up making a massive impact, so pay close attention. This is exactly what I did. First of all, cut out long text. It's all about the keywords. Make sure every sentence is short and concise and it contains at least one keyword related to your skills. Don't make the text too static though, because the ATS looks for natural language. Also make use of bullet points and bold text to accentuate the keywords. Secondly, back up your skills and experience with data and concrete numbers. It's way more powerful because it actually proves that you made an impact. And lastly, dedicate a whole section to personal projects that you've worked on. This is very important as recruiters care a lot about your personal motivation to actually apply your skills in a creative way. After applying these strategies, I finally started seeing some responses. And one day I opened my email and there it was. I had managed to get through Amazon's filtering process and I was invited to the first step of their interview process for a position as a software engineer intern in Dublin. Now the interview process at Amazon is pretty similar to most big tech companies. First you have an online assessment which is basically like an online exam. Then you have a live coding interview in which you have to solve coding problems live. And lastly they often have an in-person interview however they often skip this one for internships. So first I had the online assessment. It consists of two sections. First there is a coding section and then there is a behavioral section. The coding section is pretty self-explanatory explanatory you have around three to four coding problems that you have to solve and they're similar to hacker rank or lead code questions now the behavioral section is split up in two parts you first have a work simulation and then there is a work style assessment in the work simulation i had to play through a simulation of a day in the life of a software engineer at amazon there was a mock email platform where i was constantly presented with various scenarios and i had to choose the most suitable one this part takes around 60 minutes the last part of the online assessment was the work style assessment form here you had to fill out how much you related to various statements about work. The goal of this part is to display your compatibility with the Amazon leadership principles, so that's good to keep in mind. Around 40 minutes after I had completed the online assessment, I already got an email with the great news that I was invited to the next step, the live coding interview. 
I was super excited when I got this news, but also pretty nervous because this would be the first time that I would have to code live right there on the spot. Now for the live interview itself, it consists of two parts. First, it starts off with room for introduction and some behavioral questions. The first impression here is super important. When they ask you how you are, don't just reply with, oh, I'm fine, but say something a bit more interesting, like I'm great and I'm really looking forward to the interview. After the introduction, you'll get a couple of behavioral questions. Here you just have to answer them using the star method, which basically means that you first describe the situation you were in, then the task that was at hand, then the approach you took, and finally the result that came out of it. After the behavioral part, you get to the main part where you have to start coding. Now the best advice I can give here is simply to prepare as much as you can. I personally immediately ordered a copy of Cracking the Coding Interview, which is basically like the bible for coding interviews. There's so much practice material in here, and there's even specific tips for specific fan companies. After all my preparations, I found out that there are five topics you should focus on when preparing for your coding interview. First off, we have data structures. So that's arrays, linked lists, maps, stacks, queues, that kind of stuff. Then we have searching algorithms like DFS and BFS. Then we have sorting algorithms like merge sort, quick sort, bubble sort, insertion sort. Then we have coding concepts like bit manipulation and dynamic programming. And lastly, we have time and space complexity and explaining how fast your algorithm will be in the big O notation. I made sure to practice 10 to 20 easy to medium lead code questions that covered all of these topics. And while doing so, I made sure to speak out loud, uh, share my approaches so that I was prepared to actually talk during the interview. So after countless hours of preparation, my interview was finally there and it ended up going pretty well. The behavioral questions were pretty straightforward and I prepared a couple of examples, so that was pretty doable. The coding part was easier than I expected, to be honest. It was just an easy lead code question that I actually recognized, so it was pretty easy to solve. Now I ended up going through that question pretty fast, so they gave me another question actually, which was basically just a simple merge sort example. Um, but I actually forgot how to solve the last part of merge sort, which is kind of embarrassing. Fortunately, the interviewer didn't really care because I was able to explain my thoughts and approaches very clearly. So in those kind of situations, make sure not to stress out and just stay calm. Now, two days after the interview was over, I got an email in my inbox from Amazon. I nervously opened the email not expecting anything, but to my surprise, they actually gave me an offer. I was over the moon and immediately accepted it. After accepting my offer, I had to go through the onboarding process, which basically consisted of a background check and filling out several documents. After a few more days, I got an email that my onboarding was also complete and I was officially ready to start my internship as a software engineer at Amazon. Amazon fully covered my flights to Dublin because I'm personally from the Netherlands and they also provided compensation for the rent while living in Dublin. I'm thinking about making a video soon where I go over all the gifts, perks and benefits that Amazon gave me and even sharing my final salary. So if that's something you guys are interested in, make sure to let me know in the comments below. To wrap up, if there's one thing you should take away from this video is that you should not be afraid to apply to big tech companies because with enough practice and preparation, you actually have a pretty good chance. A lot of people don't even think about applying to the big fan companies because they sound pretty intimidating and they think the bar is way too high for them. But in reality, the bar is only as high as you set it yourself. So yeah, that's my entire Amazon application journey. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, definitely watch this video as well, where I take you along on a full day in my life at Amazon. I've got a lot of exciting stuff coming, so I'll see you guys in the next video.